Hi, I'm Mark Pilkington from Skywagon University. Today we're going to be talking about the identifying features of a Mooney M20E. Remember that the C and the E are the short Moonies, the F and the G, the J and the K are the medium length Moonies, and then there's the long Moonies. So this is an E. And the way you would identify it if you were to see one on a ramp would be a number of things. One, it's short. Two, it's got these power bulges on the cowling because it's an injected 360, not a carbureted 360 like in the M20C. It's got a flush, well, a rounded air filter there. An M20C has a box there, so it's smooth on the chin of an E. And it also has this ram air induction door that the C doesn't have. And then the C's, E's, the F's, and the G's all have this it's kind of vertical windshield with an avionic access bay here. We'll be talking about modifications on other videos, but this would be the standard plane. And then at the back, on the rudder, the C's and the E's have a short rudder. The rudder only goes to the top of the tail cone. So the rudder on an M20E ends here, like a convent, like any a lot of planes are like this. The C's and the E's, the short moonies, end like this, and the G's and the F's and everything above them go all the way to the bottom of the tail cone. So this part is rudder as well, whereas in this it's just that piece. That's a very big identifying feature of the uh, M20E and the M20C. The ends of the wings, the wing tips on the early Moonies, is always flush. You'll see a square-ended wing and you'll see the aileron counterweight in full view. If this was a 201 or a, or a 231, it would be all there'd be a wing tip on the end, so that is another indication of an early Mooney. On the gear on an early Mooney, this is an M20E, they have one gear door per side. If this was a M20J or a 201 or a 231, there's another gear door here, so that when it's up, it's fully enclosed. So the C's and the E's only have that one big gear door. 